my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another reading for you guys uh, this has been highly requested on my Instagram and on my snapchat um, as you guys will know uh, those of you guys that follow me on snapchat or Instagram I try to stay away from anything that has to do with politics only because uh, I respect completely everyone's opinions and I try not to meddle into that type of situation where um, my stance are very strong um, and my beliefs are as well and I also understand the complexity of the climate that we're in right now and um, just how intense everyone is so I try to stay as far as I can from that but like I said this video has been highly requested um, aside from politics and everything um, the coronavirus obviously this is something it's an epidemic that is affecting everyone worldwide and um, everyone's been requesting a reading um, I've been kind of hesitant I don't like to um, you know create any fear um, in anyone and I think that you know spirit has been very insistent that uh, the less people know um, in 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 the past tense uh, it was better uh, now it's getting to the point where people are panicking people are just completely going off the rails uh, so I was given the green light to actually look into the situation um, and I think that the the hesitant of looking into it has a lot to do with connections uh, with uh, politics which is something that perhaps uh, my spirit and my saint was trying to keep me from uh, because they know that I am very uh, passionate and intense about that situation but also uh, very understanding of others opinions so I try to stay away from that like I said um, nonetheless like I said I think that this panic uh, everything that everyone is currently experiencing as a whole connected I think it, de it definitely does affect everyone worldwide um, so I wanted to look into the situation and more than anything uh, give understanding or deeper understanding of what's going on uh, so that we can prepare ourselves uh, so that we can not overreact when it's not necessary um, so I think that uh, it's been a bit overdue so anyways uh, with that being said um, I've already called on my spirit guides and my saint. Um, we've already shuffled the deck for time purposes, so I'm going to get into uh, the reading. I do want to mention if there's any pauses or anything like that, just keep in mind that I am currently or will be currently ch uh, channeling. Uh, when I do that, I do get information off the cards, but I also get information uh, information that I will be writing down on my notepad and we will be revisiting or talking about that uh, further in the video okay all right so I hope that more than anything this gives you guys some kind of understanding um, to be knowledgeable to not allow other people to manipulate our ideas and play into our fears um, so without further ado let's get into the reading All right. <clears throat> okay, so what we have as a current situation is uh, we have the King of Cups. Um, this was something that was already uh, giving me um, or I was already receiving um, that I didn't want. Uh, perhaps that's the reason why we didn't want to get into this reading uh, in the past. Uh, because I knew that it would have to do with politics. But anyways, the King of Cups does represent um, authority. Um, I feel it in the reverse position. So in the reverse position, it could signify um, a specific entity that is of higher ranking. Uh, this is a person that could be very prone to 
uh, want to embark or want to create uh, some type of recognition or some type of um, some type of what's the word I'm looking for? Some type of recognition that comes through the manipulation um, or any manipulation, any means, by any means, I should say. Uh, if you can see here, um, it's holding both the chalice and a uh, similar small chalice or bouton. Um, so this is speaking to me directly about cross waters. Uh, what they're saying is that in regards to the coronavirus, obviously this did start um, in, in a different country. Uh, and perhaps um, this was methodical. This was not an accident. Uh, this was not something that, uh, you know, what people were saying, anything like what people were eating, etc. Uh, that is beyond and outside the point. Uh, this was like I said, methodically uh, studied and executed. Um, and it was uh, created to, to create some type of influence over that country. Okay, so what they're saying is China um, Okay, so what they're saying was that this was in, in a way or in a form uh, to have some type of opportunity. So what they're telling me is that this was not accidental. This was not accidental. This was created. This was man created. Um, it speaks about government. Uh, it speaks about wanting to affect the infrastructure or even the impact, greatly impact uh, the economical side of uh, this country. Uh, we're talking about China. Um, and what they're saying is that in, in a way, it was also created to uh, weaken them. Um, so what they're saying is that this was, this was planned. Um, this was not like I said, this was not accidental. And neighboring, uh, neighboring uh, towns, cities, countries, um, they're, they're speaking to me about Spain. They're speaking to me about France. <sighs> okay. Europe, Asia. Um, and we have here, we have here, okay. So we have here two, uh, two royals, which is queen and king. Uh, so this could be the desire or the want to come together. So I feel that whoever whatever government started this, I feel that uh, they were working in connection with another country um, or they will be uh, they will be working with another country. Um, if you can see here at the bottom of the queen, uh, she's like stepping on stones, like on flowers, uh, solid uh, ground, but then there's water around it. So this this is very connected to kind of when we overrule or overpower another country uh this is why we start wars um but i think that this was created to to deliberately weaken the economy of those countries that were mentioned um as in to have an upper hand um but this is greatly impacting perhaps they didn't uh, count on uh, people going to different, you know, flying. They're showing me, they're showing me airplanes. 
Um, they're also saying that there will continuously keep being accidental uh, airplane crashes. Um, the economy is greatly going to be impacted, not just in Europe, not just here in the U.S., um, not just in Asia, but uh, Mexico as well. There, there will be, um, it, it's almost as if they, you know, they were very methodical in, okay, so they're showing me, they're showing me a, a, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, a, a chess, a, a, a chess board. Um, and I'm seeing, uh, movement uh, within uh, the king and queens uh, so that's again th this is something that was methodical this was thought out this was planned orchestra orchestra uh, orchestrated um, sorry if I'm you know uh, struggling with communicating I'm getting a lot of messages um, but what they're saying here is that uh, it was in 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 a way it was to have the upper hand but things got way out of control uh, they're also telling me here in the U.S. the gas is going to be greatly impacted, um, perhaps the lowest we've ever seen it go. Um, they're, they're showing me uh, a, a, a bit of violence uh, roaring up, and I think that this is coming from a place of people really being fearful. Um, what they're saying is, you know, take what they're putting out there in news coverage, in, in conversations, take it with a grain of salt because what they're doing here is they are deliberately feeding negative uh, information to the masses, to the public, so that, that they themselves can create this panic, this, this uh, fear uh, that overtakes or overpowers them to, to and pushes them to do... Um, negative things as a reaction um, you know break-ins uh, violence um, people being very selfish and and what they're saying is that all of this is caused based out of fear and that's exactly what they're feeding um, there is a, a there's a talk about population um, perhaps expanding too much uh, that there was some type of plan here uh, that has to do with with population or the decrease of population um and and again it's almost like they have been doing this for many years um 20 years even uh where they've tried to get a hold of the situation but was out of their control um and this, what they're telling me is that this is not, uh, it's not a first time. This is something that they've done in the, when I say they, uh, they're telling me to uh, express uh, those of higher power, those that are within the government, those are, those that are in charge of making decisions for the people. Um, so again, a lot of, a lot of, emotion people are very very emotional right now very like i said fearful um it's almost like you know th th they're gonna go into this state of mind of sink or swim um you know survival of the fittest type of thing and it has a lot to do with what again what they're feeding what they're putting out there and it's almost like they're orchestrating around the world um for it to get so out of control that they have the right legally uh, to control the masses. So martial law is what's coming to mind. Uh, this is something that in the U.S., you know, when people get out of control, they try to stabilize the situation by uh, enforcing martial law, which is uh, people that are allowed to go at a certain time. And after that certain time, you can no longer come out. Uh, that's a way of controlling people. So I think that the fear that they're putting in people is for for it to create chaos so that they have enough proof uh, to want to legally have the right uh, to control the people. So again, you guys, try the best you guys can to not listen to a lot of the information that is being fed to you guys. 
Um, this is a time, uh, Spirit is saying this is a time. Uh, it is unfortunate, but uh, sometimes it is necessary as a reminder of higher power uh, that we are all connected, that we there's no difference in race, in beliefs, in, um, you know, sexuality, all of this has, there's, there's no discord or disconnect. We are all connected, whether we like to accept that, admit that, or understand that on a deeper level. And uh, it's very easy to divide uh, people with, you know, propaganda, with people feeding negative information, uh, with exaggeration of truths or even, uh, you know, exaggeration of, uh, you know, <laughs> things that are not true and um, people m trying to enforce this belief on other people. Um, so all of this, what they're saying is that uh, what they're saying is that we are connected and it is unfortunate that when we have a lot of low frequency vibrations taking over uh, the world worldwide um, we also have positive and it is unfortunate yes that sometimes uh, great catastrophic situations um, shakes us to our cores to show us to make us understand that we are united and when we worry for others and when we uh, experience such catastrophic energies on a very high level, uh, everyone, you know, is worried about everyone else and surviving. And in situations like this, we raise our vibration by praying, by asking for other countries to, to be safe, to come out of this, you know, and like I said, it is unfortunate that it takes situations like this for us to be connected on a spiritual level and to be able to hold hands on a spiritual level and raise the vibration of the world worldwide. Um, and I think that just like there is a lot of bad, there is also a lot of good uh, archangels that are very present in our everyday life. Um, trying to assist, trying to control the situation uh, that those that have no heart are, uh, like I said, moving as if we're chess pieces. Um, we also have here the Fool uh, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Um, there is there is hope. There is uh Coming together as a whole, uh, accepting or understanding that we are all connected, uh, we will definitely overcome this situation. Uh, it, it is affecting uh, everyone. Um, there is a lot of manipulation in uh, the government. There is a lot of manipulation in uh, surviving or, or becoming more than we are. Uh, for some, you know, for some that are in involved in everything that has been unfolding, uh, a, a lot of companies um, really trying to make the most that they can out of the situation. There is a vaccine that has already been created, uh, an anti uh, or antidote, I should say. Um, and again, this, this will fall or has fallen into the hands of greedy people, of people that are only thinking of themselves. Um, and it will, it will be coming out. No matter what they try to do with it, it will be coming out. Um, and, and it will definitely help um, everyone worldwide. Um, but I think that right now there is a there's this very dark cloud around the situation only because what seems is really not it um, and what they're trying to make it seem like uh, is pretty much dressing the truth, right? Dressing or hiding uh, the true 
uh, reasoning behind this. But ultimately what they're saying is that it is, or this situation has came about um, because of greed, because of power more than anything. And again, like I said, there is an antidote uh, that they're saying has already been created. Um, there's going to be a lot of obstacles to try to keep that from the public, uh, but it will be coming out and um, it will be helping people. Um, now, what they're saying here is also, um, I see, okay, so what they're showing They're also showing uh, Russia very connected with the U.S. in the past uh, based off the economical struggles that are going to be unfolding, not just for United States, but for Spain, for France, um, Asia. Uh, I think that um, what they're saying here is that Russia uh, will try to make a move or some type of uh, having the upper hand in the U.S. only to try to take advantage of the situation and U.S. will not be having it. Uh, I think that's where the discord begins between them. Unfortunately, it seems like they've been working very connected in some shape, way, or form. Um, but they are saying that that's when things start to fall um, in regards to the connection or partnership or uh, whatever plans that have been uh, will no longer be uh, because they are trying to have, again, like I said, the upper hand. Um, I, I, I'm also being told in regards to the Middle East, there's going to be a lot of um, situations arising from, uh, you know, really fighting for um, fighting for not only power, but uh trying to take over again like i said uh the, the situation of uh everyone's going to be in shambles in regards to the economical the the economics side uh what they're saying is that this is and this is just you know we're just starting right now uh meaning we really haven't felt um the financial difficulties that we're going to be that there that we will be facing ahead uh i think that this will be unfolding um but we will be unfolding but um i think that uh, the again like i said this is this is something that is going to affect everyone worldwide uh, it has already been affecting everyone worldwide uh, now we have the hanged man here and it's like uh, feeling stuck, feeling um, literally waiting, um, waiting to make a move, waiting to uh, take the lead. Um, and, and what they're saying here is that uh, these are basically countries that uh, are not greatly affected, that are going to be on the sidelines waiting, like counting the time. Uh, to make a move, uh, to make a move on perhaps countries that have taken advantage in the past or make a move on countries that have uh, meddled with their own, with their people uh, because they have more power at that point in time. It's like what they're saying is justice is here um, based off of those situations. Now, like I said, there's going to be a grand... Um, uh, a grand of things unfolding that perhaps even the government at some point was against, uh, they will be pushing forward. And I think that the reason for that is because now they're thinking of themselves, not just the people. Um, and, and with the five of cups, uh, sorry, the five of pentacles, it's like the loss or uh, really feeling like Things could not get any worse, um, but the good in that is what Spirit is saying is that ultimately justice will be served. Uh, those that have tried to move us as a whole, like chess pieces, um, you know, nature will take care of that 
in part. Uh, so what they're saying is, um, you know, they could be speaking about earthquakes. They could be speaking about earthly, uh, earthly catastrophes. Um, you know, what comes to mind for me on a personal level, I'm in California. So earthquakes is something that is very, you know, normal um, to a certain extent. And what they're saying here is that Mother Nature will do what it has to do. And at the same time, when people are at standstill, when companies and, um, you know, um, companies and uh, even cities that run off of um, uh, run off of people visiting um, or, you know, m most of their income comes from um, foreigners or comes from um, what's the word? Um, people that travel and go to visit them, um, you know, will be hit very hard. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it's almost as if like we're, we're going into this cycle where we have been little by little killing our own planet. We have little by little contaminated to the point where I'm seeing volcanoes. So even in some countries and some part of the world, you're going to be experiencing volcanoes. And I'm talking about new volcanoes erupting, not volcanoes that are known, but Volcanoes that have that have not erupted will be erupting. I'm seeing um, earthquakes now. I'm not seeing it on a grander scale, but I do. See it. And in all of this is like what they're showing me is lava flowing, like brewing underneath the surface. So I feel that in retrospect, a lot of places where the water hasn't been or it has been very contaminated or um, because of the global warming that's been happening, things like that. I see almost this regeneration, uh, transmutation of energies that because of companies that really impact the environment, uh, being shut down or being non working for a while, I see that, um, the waters are being much more clear. You're seeing, or I'm seeing fishes, um, you know, uh, fishes uh, swimming freely under the ocean. So that's telling me that, again, with the Justice card, karma uh, could signify a transmutation of energies that the, uh, you know, the earth, the planet has been experiencing, uh, will be experiencing a regeneration of that. Um, we'll be experiencing uh, becoming stronger, basically, is what they're saying. Uh, becoming stronger and uh, more vibrant. Um, yes, it's going to take a while for uh, many of us to actually recover from the situation. Um, recover in the sense of um, being able to overcome um, the financial losses for some um, the difficulties that we're going to be facing, uh, as citizens, no matter what part of the world you're in. Um, but it, it will get to the point of some type of control and moving forward. There is a, uh, like I said, a, a transmutation of energies for some, it could be, uh, governments ch uh, t changing, uh, changing governments, I should say. Uh, for others, it could be people actually putting the effort and energy into uh, being more of being more for a specific uh, ruler or, or something that hasn't been done in the past. Um, and, and again, they're talking about uh, changing of power is what they're saying. Um, so for many, it could represent, again, like I said, changing governments. For others, it could represent, um, I know presidential elections are around the corner. Um, and, and again, I think that that could have a lot to do with the connection of what they were saying, um, that this was methodical, this was thought out, this was something that was orchestrated. Um, 
but as a whole worldwide uh what they're saying is that we we will be tested um things are going to get a little bit worse before they get better um it is a time to understand that we are like i said we're all connected uh, we it is in our interest for other countries other you know neighbor countries uh to to blossom and do good because it affects everyone uh we're all connected whether we like to accept that or not that's the reality of it um and i think that a, this will also uh, bring a lot of belief in the people uh, what they're telling me is that there's going to be a lot of signs of uh, a lot of signs of on the religious or spiritual aspect um i see a lot of angels making their way or professing um their power whether it be through signs whether it be through the clouds like physically seeing angel clouds physically seeing um appearances things like that things of that nature um and i think that that's just to reaffirm the people to reaffirm uh, those that have lost faith that they're still around us and they will still continuously keep looking out for us the best advice i can give you guys at this point is that we are all connected and being selfish thinking of only ourselves is not a virtue that one should share at this point i think that it is very important um everything that is unfolding it is very important to think of others and be compassionate of others and be you know um they had mentioned, you know, that this virus greatly impacted the elderly. Um, to us, they, they're they sacred, you know, so that that's something that it's about being compassionate. It's about understanding that we're all in this together and moving forward. They are saying that we will get through this. There's going to be a lot of changes again um, with the environment getting stronger uh, the planet getting stronger um there's a lot of release of tension um that will be happening so nature taking its course as well as releasing some fury um but at the same time it's regenerating it's transmutating uh to strengthen it to make it more livable for us and for you know for those to come um and again i i do see moving in to a better era um but like i said they are saying that this will take a bit um this is something that we're going to try to come back from which we will um but more than anything, what they're saying is the message here is don't take or if you do take, make sure to take the the messages or the information that is being given to you guys with a grain of salt only because you don't want others to manipulate the way you think, to manipulate or make you feel some type of way playing off of your fears more than anything and ultimately what spirit is saying here is that it will affect many of us those perhaps that have already been affected um but in a grander scale we will be going into a better era we will be going into a more uh, sustainable um environment and ultimately uh do not let this situation remove or disconnect you from from your spirituality from your belief from your faith whatever it is um there is a lot of things at play here and they are saying that uh, many energies or forces out there are really wanting to 
take away hope uh, for people to feel helpless so that when an opportunity comes or someone promises something, and we're talking about governments, um, we embrace it because we feel helpless, because we feel like it's now or never, or this is the end of that, so we might as well. Don't let them feed you or get you to that point. Stick with your beliefs. Stick with your spirituality. Stick with faith. And we will come out stronger than ever. I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight. I hope that it gives you guys a better understanding. I hope that it brings you guys wisdom, power. Knowledge is power and understanding things on a deeper level so that it's not so easy for others to manipulate or play off of our fears. I send you guys all my love. I'm praying for all and each single one of you guys. Um, stay safe and we will see each other soon. Bye.